cooperative one we're calling uh, Tugboat Express. I don't know what else to call it. So we're gonna need a scooter, one for each uh, pair of students to share, so they'll be with the partner. And then whatever items you want them to collect. We got Beanie Babies, Bean Bags, and we used the fruits and vegetables we got from one of the companies, uh, US Games, I believe. Uh, and so we scattered those all the way out down the center. Our, our students are, in, are on the sidelines with their partner. One friend is gonna sit crisscross on the scooter, and the other one gets to push. So I would sit crisscross, and my partner behind me would push. Now this is one of the only times we tell the kids to use the handles to push. Normally, you know, they ride the scooters, they want to hold these, and it tips over, and they squash their fingers and stuff. But when we're pushing, there's less likely for the friend to fall over. So my partner's sitting here, I get to hold the handles if I'm pushing. So I can be on my knees, we told the kids to stay upright, that's fine too. But you cannot let go of the scooter when you're pushing your partner. I have to push my partner all the way to the item that we want. So then my partner would grab this item without getting off the scooter. My partner gets off, we're out. We have to change jobs. So then my partner has that, and now I gotta push my partner back. The other thing we also have that I didn't pull out, I forgot, were the hula hoops. So then we would go back to our hula hoop. And this would go in our hula hoop. And then we would switch roles. So now I would sit and my partner would push me. Okay, so hula hoops, we made it match the uh, scooter, same color, so it's easier for the kids to go. When all the items have uh, been picked up, we stop, we find a winning team. Could be who's got the purple number seven being back. It could be who has the uh, core. It could be who's got the uh, bear with the clover, whatever it is that we want to have as a winning team. Now, you can also use whatever you have in your closet. If you have the little noodlets, you can use playing cards, you can use poker chips, you can use bean bag scars, whatever you want them to have fun collecting, that's what I would put out there. I hope that your students will enjoy this. I'm Chris Brewer reminding you to keep on moving.